I'm going to demonstrate how to use assemblies in Red Rhino. I click the drop down where it says Wizards and select Assemblies. When I do, the assembly catalog populates down below that. You can see assemblies for fixtures, 4S boxes, switches, dimmers, receptacles on down here. Now go in here and try different assemblies. Just go input them, see what's included in the assembly so you understand. I'm going to input some uh, receptacle assemblies. I click on the plus sign next to 14 receptacles. Now you can see the subcategory menu. It has receptacles plastic, meaning plastic plates. Receptacle stainless for stainless steel plates. Let me unsquinch this just a little bit. You see weatherproof assemblies, miscellaneous assemblies for receptacles, and masonry box assemblies. So I'm going to click on receptacles plastic again. It opens up the categories at the bottom left and populates the different assemblies. Now there's assemblies in here for receptacles, specification grade, spec 1, spec 2, and standard. I'm going to scroll down to assembly number 6. This is an assembly that's used quite frequently in electrical. It's a standard plug or duplex. I'm going to put in a quantity of five of these. I'm going to pretend I'm estimating and have to add five plugs. These are the single gang version. Now I'm going to do several assemblies at the same time here and I'll show you the results when I'm done. I'll scroll down to assembly number 12. I happen to know that that assembly there is your quad outlet. See the description? Two duplex. That means quad. I'm going to put in, I'm going to say there's seven of those. Right below that is the GFI outlet assembly. Let's say I have four of those. I click, uh, click in the box and type in four. Now to make an observation here for your sake, I'm going to scroll down a little bit. See how the program has isolated ground assemblies in here? Number 15. I'll keep going down. At the bottom here it has cut-in assemblies. See the assemblies? These are cut-in. Here's your specification grade for uh, receptacles with cut-in boxes, etc. Now I won't input those right now, but try them out on your, on your own. Here's your GFI cut-in, isolated ground cut-in. Okay, now I scroll back up to the top. I click the Add button. I already input the quantities. It populates over to the right. Now, before I save this, I want to explain something. If you want to, before you save, you can drill in here and change whatever you want. Notice how the program has the, the boxes open still before I click Save. If I want, I can go in and change the quantities of these boxes. Okay, I can change the price. I can change the labor hours. I'm just making an observation. I'm not going to make any changes, but I'm making an observation for your sake that you can do this. Now, let's just click Save, and I'll come back down to this line and show you what it did. Click the Save. I'm going to scroll down to line, I think it was 46 here. Now, this is the way Red Rhino, Red Rhino displays assemblies. See on line 46 how it's a description of the assemblies, and the components in that assembly are lines 47 through 53. See this? Now, notice how the program or how the assembly contains 4S box, a one gang ring, a box mounting bracket, a receptacle 20 amp standard, a plate, and then it, it includes ground pigtails and red wire nuts. Now, since I input five of these, it included five boxes, five rings, five mounting brackets, etc., etc., and eventually 15 wire nuts. Now, that was the standard grade assembly. If I scroll down a little bit here, this, this is my quad assembly right here on line 55. That's a description of the assembly. The, the components of the assembly are down below. Now notice it, how it input a 4S box, a two gang ring, box mounting bracket. The program included two receptacles per assembly. There was seven plugs and it input 14, I'm sorry, there was a, a quantity of seven assemblies with 14 receptacles. Again, it adds the plastic plate, the pigtails, and the uh, wire nuts. Now scroll down here finally that we uh, we input a GFI receptacle assembly. Line 64 is a description of that. The components are in that are below that. Now I want to explain something here. When you're using Red Rhino you locate the assemblies that you want to use and input them. In order to feed these with conduit I use the conduit wizard. Okay I'm gonna save my work here and I'm gonna go back and demonstrate how to use the fixture assembly. Now I click on the plus sign next to fixtures. It displays a list of fixture assembly subcategories here. Notice there's recessed fluorescent fixture assemblies, surface, 
recessed incandescent, surface incandescent, exit and emergency fixtures, and outdoor fixtures. The program has almost any fixture assembly you can imagine. I'm going to click on recessed fluorescent fixtures and notice it populates a list of assemblies down here. Now the most popular ones, or the most, most common ones I should say, are probably assemblies 101 and 102 here. There's a 2x4 fluorescent lay-in. I'm going to just pretend an input that I have to, or I'm going to, I'm going to pretend that I have to estimate 10 of these. I'll put in a quantity of 10, and I have some 2x2s. Two I'm going to put in four of those. When I do, I click Add. The program populates the materials to the right. Now, I'm going to save this before I describe it, just so it looks better. I'll scroll down to the bottom. This is where I input the materials. Notice how the program added the fixtures here. Now, notice that there's no pricing for these fixtures. You have to get them quoted. All your fixtures, you input them for labor only, but you have to get them quoted. So, I'll show you where to input your quotes or quoted materials later. See how the assembly includes? Again, here's the description, line 73. Here's the fixture with labor. Now, this assembly includes lamps. Let me make a caveat statement here. Oftentimes, when I'm estimating or bidding projects, um, and uh, the, the lighting fixtures are quoted by uh, the material vendors. So when I get the fixtures quoted, I also have them include lamps. I usually delete this line. In a while, I'm going to explain how to delete um, items in here, but for now you just click on it, you click the delete button, click save, scroll back down, and you'll notice that the, the lamps are gone. Now, back to the assemblies here. This assembly included the fixture, what they call earthquake or hanger wires. It included a four foot width and some wire nuts. The two by two here, we see the lamps here. I would delete those. I won't do it right now, but I would delete those. It includes the fixture, it has labor for the fixture, again, no, no materials. It has the wires or support wires. It has the width and the wire nuts. Again, that's how you input or use the fixture assemblies. Let me move this over a little bit. Next is the switches. I'm just going uh, to demonstrate how to use the switch assembly here. Click on the plus sign for switches. You go through the menu tree. I'm going to click on frame, 20 amp. Click on the plus sign. And now it has standard grade. That's what I'll do. I'll click the plus sign next to standard grade. And here it says standard PL frame means plastic plates or stainless steel plates with frame. Frame means open wall. I click on this. The program displays assemblies for different switches. Notice how the first assembly here is a one gang switch, a two gang switch, a three gang switch, a four gang switch. When I'm doing my material takeoff, I just count my switches. I write down how many one gang, two gang, three gang, clear up to six gang switches here. Now I'm going to input them like I would if I was really doing a job. Let's say that I'm, I, I counted and there were 22 one gang switches, and there's 14 two gang switches. There's three. See me typing those numbers in to the quantities. Three of the three gang switches. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. I happen to know that the three way switches are down here. I'm going to say that there were two two-gang three-way switches here. Now I just scroll back up to the top. I click Add. When I do, it populates the materials at the right. I click Save to save my work. Now if I scroll down, we'll see where these assemblies landed. A switch assembly has the 4S box. In this case, 4S box, a one-gang ring, box mounting bracket. It has the switch. It has the plate. It has a ground pigtail and some wire nuts. And scrolling down to the bottom here, there's, there's the components here. Let me, let me uh, click this arrow here. There, here's, here's the components at the bottom here. Here's more of the assemblies that were input. Again, this is how you use assemblies. Go in and try them out for yourself and just find out what assemblies are in the program about 85% of your input is going to be using either assemblies or wizards when you're using Red Rhino software.